So we're going to start with the most common waiting for clarity. These people need to feel their feelings. And all of you who are emotional as a definition, that is the key. Feel your feelings. Don't be afraid to feel your feelings. But what happens when you have an adult in your life who is not emotional? They don't feel comfortable with your feelings. They suppress you. They drug you. They make you bad and wrong for being up and down. This is a real life experience that I've seen countless times for emotional people who have up and downs. And then until it, it gets, you can't, it's like a, a pressure cooker. You can't pressurize yourself for so long. It explodes at some point. Yeah, you, you get angry, you explode, something happens that is, doesn't feel good. And then you're really embarrassed. And then you try to put the lid on even tighter next time. Okay. So if you feel an exaggerated urgency or pressure to act when you are emotional and you're nervous and you're not sure and you just, I got to get rid of this pressure, let me do it. That's not your authority. When you're really, really happy or really, really sad, that's not the time to make a choice. It's usually coming from the mind, not from clarity. When you feel anxious and nervous and uncomfortable and your mind is going into all these hypotheses and telling you, don't wait. You can't afford to wait because the operative term here is patience is its own reward. Patience gives you clarity. You never, ever, ever make a choice when you're dysregulated, crying, upset, never. You, you cancel that engagement, whatever it is. Get Get okay with you. If you have an important meeting and you're all over the map, that's a sign your body does not want to go into that meeting. And then people go, well, I have to, I promised, I must, I should. No, because you might have an important meeting and you just had people die or whatever it happens to be and you need some time. Time is what is really healing and time is what is needed for people when they're dysregulated to off gas the emotions, however, or to express, to feel, whatever those emotions need to do, that's not the time for important decision-making. High is worse than low because when you're high, happy, happy, everything's great, you're going to make a yes choice that you're going to regret later because you didn't see all the downs. The downs give us important information about the big picture. Wait for pressure to subside. Wait to be able to feel when the timing's right. This means no nervousness. You are jittery. You are anxious. You are nervous. You can't swallow because of the lump in your throat. Mm -mm. Wait, wait. Make excuses, healthy excuses. You know, let me get back to you. Let me sleep on it. Can I have some time to process this? This is a lot to take in right now. I need some time. Yeah, can I get back to you? When do I need to get back to you? When do you need to know by? Push it off. The further you push off a decision, the healthier it is for you if you are nervous. So once you've been recognized and invited as an advisor, never make the choice point on happy, 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 or low. Make it somewhere in the middle where you've already been up and down on that particular experience. Sleep on it. At least sleep on it. Because you wake up in a totally different mood than you were when you were down, uh, when you were um, going to sleep. <laughs> so give yourself the time. Don't get tossed around by the waves of emotion because it's like the difference between having rose-colored glasses on when you're happy and really foggy, thick glasses of not being able to see blinders. It's like having blinders on when you're sad. Because you're only attuned to what is going on in front of you that resonates to how you feel. Remember, we're all resonant creatures. We're vibrating on a frequency. When you're happy, you can't remember the last time you were so devastated, felt like life was falling apart. Not really. You don't have access to that energy. So wait for calm, confidence, clarity, not excitement. You know that common... Uh, what is it? Law of attraction thing. Follow your highest excitement. That's not true for emotional people. Not spontaneously. Okay. I hope I make that clear. So we cannot make choices up here or down here. I have left relationships down here and regretted it for the rest of my life. 
Don't make my mistake. Wait out your wave. Make decisions from calm and clarity because what happens is we have emotions that go up and down. There is a choice point. Somebody asks and then you have to wait for time because time gives you perspective. Okay? Time gives you perspective on whether or not to support your tribe with this bargain or that. Whether or not to um, empower or to be social, to be with that other person because, or do that thing because you're passionate about it, because you love it like nothing else in this universe. And time gives you the availability to know whether you should share your emotions with others or actually engage in that experience with them. Time is the only truth with emotionally intelligent people. Time is your friend. Your mind is not.